Today, I'm gonna show you how to fix baby skin color in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is gonna be awesome for you guys who are photographing babies, whether you're a professional baby photographer or you're just a mom or a pop and you got some babies hanging around the house and you decided to take some photographs of them. We're gonna show you how to correct skin tone because a lot of the time, newborns and babies can have a lot of red in their skin. So in this episode, we're gonna show you how to target that color and how to analyze it and compare it to a more ideal skin tone. Then we're gonna show you how to change the color from that like kind of reddish version to a lot more natural looking skin tone. This episode is quick and easy and it's gonna help out a ton for getting that skin tone perfect. All right guys, let's jump into Photoshop. All right guys, here's our image for today. And you can see our newborn looks awesome except the skin tone is a little bit red. And this is a super common problem and it happens all the time. So we're gonna go about changing this color, but before we start changing this baby's color, what I'm gonna do is find a reference image or a source image. And this is a really good idea. Anytime you wanna change like skin color, it's a good idea to find maybe a skin color that's your target skin color. Something that you're like, okay, that looks really good. Let's see if I can change my skin tone for this image a little bit more similar to your second image. All right, so let's go ahead and load up our other image. This is also just, these are both from Adobe Stock, by the way. Um, and this skin tone, it that really does look really nice. We've got a nice hue going on here, nice amount of lightness. And if we can get this skin tone to look like that, then we're in good shape. Okay, so first thing I wanna do, I'm actually gonna use my move tool here. We're gonna click and drag from one image to another. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and transform this. So let's hit Control or Command T for our transform. Let's lock our width and our height together and just scale this down a little bit. We just don't need it to be so large. Okay, so here we can see the skin tone is pretty different between the two of those. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and analyze the skin tone between both of the babies and then we're gonna work on correcting it. So we can do something really cool to analyze skin tone. What we're gonna do is create a selection. I'm gonna go to my marquee selection tool and we're just gonna draw a rectangle right around there where we got like a lot of skin tone. We got some highlights, midtones, shadows, and things like that. Okay, now in this selection, we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate whatever's on this layer in this section. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that. So now in this selection, we can see we just have like skin in that area, okay? So on this new layer, let's just say we've got just this layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a selection and we can do that by hitting Control or Command and clicking on that layer. Okay, so now that we have this as a selection, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a special blur to it. So we're gonna go to Filter, down to Blur and over to Average. And what that does is it takes all the colors in that selection and averages them to the, basically to what the median color is in that area. All right, so that looks great. That's gonna be our reference skin tone color. So we took a portrait of a baby and we basically got this as the skin tone, which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our background. So let's click on our background. I'm gonna just select an area right around here for our, uh, for our baby that we wanna change the color. Let's duplicate that. So again, we've got this is on a new document. Again, we don't wanna include the hat or anything else because that's gonna change your average color. So we wanna make sure we're just using that area, okay? So now with that selected, just hold down Control or Command and click on the thumbnail there. There we go, that turns it into a selection. We're gonna to go to Filter, down to Blur, and over to Average. All right, let's go ahead and put that on the top and now we're going to be comparing these two skin tones. And this is the fun part, guys. We actually get to analyze the color of two different skin tones and then use a hue saturation adjustment layer to change the color from one to another. It's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I wanna take a look at our different colors and kind of get a better understanding of how they actually are different. So we're gonna click on our color picker here. Click on our color picker. And now with the color picker, you can choose uh, any color that you want to be your foreground. Or if you go outside of this dialog box, you're going to get an eyedropper. So if I click on my eyedropper here, I can see I've got a hue of 1%, one degree rather, a saturation of 19% and a brightness of 97%.
Now in this case, we're gonna use hue, saturation, and brightness to analyze the colors. But if you wanna use RGB, you can do that, CMYK or LAB, you can do that as well. All right, so this is our skin tone that we wanna change. And here we have our other skin tone. So you can see kind of flipping back and forth, our numbers change, and this gets us a better idea of what we need to do. Okay, so for instance, our hue starting out at one degree and going over to 18 degrees. So basically what that tells me is these are 17 degrees apart as far as hue is concerned. Now, how is that useful? Well, we're gonna show you how you can actually use that to change skin color. So now that we know that our hue is 17 degrees apart, we're gonna create a hue saturation adjustment layer and then bring the hue up by 17 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that. Here above my background layer, I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer and we're gonna to go to hue slash saturation. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this down so we can see everything here. So hue slash saturation. Now in this case, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on our master and we're gonna go down to reds because I wanna make sure that I'm affecting the reds that are in my image. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this a little bit wider just to make sure that I am gonna affect all of the reds in our baby here. Okay, so here's our hue. Now, basically what I need to do, I figured out that we've got a 17 degree difference between this hue and that hue. So what we're gonna do is here where it says hue, we're just gonna click there and type in 17. And there we go. This hue is now magically transformed into that hue. It's not magic at all. I just figured out what color it was and transferred it to the other color. So we basically took this color and transferred it to our target color range, which is really, really cool. All right, guys, let's take a look at our other color values. We're looking to look at saturation and brightness so we can really match these colors. So let's analyze these colors. We're gonna go back to our color picker here. We've got our original color and our target color. So we can see we've got 2% more in saturation and our brightness is 5% lower. So now we can change those and we're going to be spot on our money. Spot on the money, that does, that's not even a phrase that makes any sense. All right, we're gonna go back to our hue saturation, the thing that made the change on the overall. We're gonna go to our reds, all right? And we're gonna go to our saturation. We're gonna hit two on this, okay? And then we're gonna go to minus five on our lightness. All right, guys, and now this color is matching that color. So let's go ahead and close this out. We can make everything else invisible, and we're just gonna look at our before and our after with our skin tone. So here's our before and the after. All right, guys, and that's all there is to this technique. My favorite part about this is that we're not guessing. We're actually analyzing the average color from one skin and the average color from another skin tone, and then we're taking those numbers and then matching them up so they actually do line up. All right, if you wanna do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, make sure you have a reference image. This is gonna help out a ton because you can analyze the color of the skin on the reference image. Just create a selection around the skin and then hit Control or Command J to duplicate that selection to a new layer. Then hold down Control or Command and click on the thumbnail of that layer, turning it into a selection. Next, it's time to blur. We're gonna to go to Filter, down to blur and then over to average. It's gonna give us the average color of that piece of skin. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our original image and then we're going to go ahead and match those. Next, we open up our color picker and use the eyedropper to click on both skin tones. This gives us a really good idea of how they're separate. And we can write down those numbers and bring up a hue saturation adjustment layer, plug those numbers in perfectly and we're good to go. All right, guys, that's all there is to today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned out a ton and let me know what you think of it in the comments right down below. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, you probably want to subscribe to flearn.com. We're going to send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirn you later. Bye, everyone. Oh, baby, that was quite a retouch. Mmm, I wish I had a baby just so I could photograph it and fix the skin on it. Also for other reasons, probably. <laughs> I don't know, what are babies good for again? Cute points. Yeah, cute points. <laughs>